everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. This weekend, the Premier League starts, I'll be talking about that today, the first game of the season against Forrest at home. Also, we'll be talking about Eddie Howe on his transfer policy, because he spoke out about it. And also, we'll speak about the James Madison saga, Newcastle United are interested in him as we all know. First, if you haven't already done it, could you please consider subscribing to the channel. Also smashing the like button as it does help my channel grow. It doesn't cost a penny, it's all free. Um, so yeah, that'll be fantastic. Let's get in the video, people. Yeah, so Newcastle United kick off their Premier League campaign with a home um, fixture against new promoted Nottingham Forest. This won't be an easy game. Um, we saw teams in the past who have came up, like Blackpool, who under Ian Holloway had a fantastic time in the Premier League. Um, at Bloomfield Road, like I said there, they were absolutely hammering teams and getting some big wins against some big, big clubs as well. So it'll be tricky. Also, I think it was last season, I think Brentford played Arsenal in the first game of the season. Brentford beat them. So there is surprises up the sleeve. Things can go wrong. Obviously, people have just come off pre-season. They're still rusty and not as fresh. So they'll need game time to settle in. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, we can't be taking this game lightly against Forest. We know they've just got Lingard in, they've got Dean Henderson in the goal. They've signed about 12 players. So they're going for it. They're the wayside. I think Nottingham Forest have got nothing to lose. They'll go for it like every newly promoted team does. They try the best and just go for the games. Um, but yeah, Newcastle need to be on their guard. I truly believe that if we play to our potential, with the players we're having now, after their big wins, against Atlanta and Athletic Bilbao. If we play like we did against them, I think we're going to win comfortably 3-1 against Nottingham Forest at the weekend. That's my prediction. Well, I hope I'm right. Um, yeah, I think we'll win this one, but it won't be an easy game. It'll be a very difficult game. Um, so, yeah, we've just got to be patient with this squad now because, obviously, we'll be dipping in the transfer market again. Obviously, we've been in for James Madison. We've bid at forty million for him. First bid got rejected. The second bid we put in, according to the media and Sky Sports, was around about fifty million pounds. But now I'm hearing that it could be closer to forty million with add-ons. Um, and Leicester City wants sixty million pound. I don't know if we'll pay that. Uh, I've also heard if we don't pay that money, we might turn our attentions to Chelsea's attacking midfield at Ross Barkley who we all know him well for his times at Everton. Um, he was fantastic for them, he was a great player. That's why Chelsea bought him. He hasn't really done that well at Chelsea. Hasn't really given much of a chance, if I'm honest. Um, I think it's his times up at Chelsea. I think a, a move would be great for him. Try and get a regular team in the England squad for the World Cup in November in Qatar. Uh, I truly believe that Ross Barkley, if we don't get Madison, will be a great signing. If we can get him back to his Everton form, um, scoring all them goals and assisting like he did. Uh, there's definitely a player in there. I think he'd be outstanding. The other thing is, Leicester City have also sold Kasper Schmeichel. I believe he's having a medical now at Nice. So that leaves them short of a goalkeeper. Can Newcastle offer Darlow or Dubravka and some money in a deal? That could be one that they could be looking at to get Madison over the line. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I truly believe we'll go with a third bid. And I think it'll be about 55 million add-ons. And I think this one might get accepted. It seems a bit strange how Leicester get rid of players, key players, a week before the transfer market. It makes you wonder, does the owner not want to be there anymore? Get rid of Schmeichel. You know, um, obviously you're getting rid of Madison if they sell him. That's two key players. I've heard Vardy could be interested in Chelsea. If they lose all them three... And they haven't brought anyone in yet, Leicester. What are they going to do? So it's a tricky one, this one. I don't know what's going on with them, but I'd love to see Madison at the club. He's a fantastic player. Like I said at the end of the video, on the balls, his assists, his dead balls. Um, his, his chances created in the Premier League are unbelievable. He's right up there with the best in the Premier League on chances created since 2018 when he um, joined them. Unbelievable. Definitely one I want to see at the club. Fantastic. Sorry about the noise in the background. Um, if we can get James Madison, it'd be absolutely fantastic. 
transfer stuff. He says that there's only been a few players that they're actually interested in. I think it's a really, really hard um, transfer window to get attacking players in. It's very difficult to get attackers rather than defenders. Very difficult. Um, and I truly believe that we don't want to get rivals ripped out either. So, like, we seem to be floating around the 40 to 50 million mark maximum for players at the moment in time. And where we are, because obviously we haven't got that much revenue, not yet, until we get a few years in and get a good sponsor, probably a Saudi oil company one, and be raking the money in and using that to buy players. But that's the long run. Um, at the minute, we're building from scratch. Um, just think where Man City started from, you know what I mean? They started from scratch, and then they bought the James Milners. They also bought the Shea Givens. They started like we are now, and like Nick Popes, and Dan Burns, and Target, and um, Trippiers. Bruno's, even though I think Bruno is elite, I think Bruno is an elite player. But um, we're starting off and we're building. This is all, you've got to remember this is only our second transfer window, our first summer transfer window under the Saudi ownership. I've seen a few people on Twitter having a good old whinge about we're not doing enough. But we've got to believe is, <laughs> you know, what more can they do, the owners? They're not going to get the eyeballs ripped out, I've said before. They're not going to play, pay Newcastle tax of premiums. Uh, if you do that once, you'll get you'll get absolutely rinsed off every single club. They'll always want inflation. They'll want thirty million on top of that. Not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. And that's the way to be. Show people now will not be pushed around, and then clubs will probably sell for a lot less. They won't ask for more money. Um, so our transfer policy, I think it's bang on the button. I think Stavely's a very very clever woman. A very good businesswoman, what she does. She wants the best for the club. She wants the best for the fans. Everything they say, I believe now. Um, we've waited 14 years for a moment like this. And uh, it just feels like the club's a unit once again. And you just see it on match days. With the war flags and that and the stadium, the buzz around right now. Unreal. It's a complete turnaround from when we had, you know, here in the past. Completely different now. And, um... Who wouldn't want to be a part of this journey and this project? Um, I also believe that we could send a few English nationals. Nick Pope's come out and said that we could get a few English nationals here. Obviously, we've already got Nick Pope and Trippier. Um, can we add to that? Um, possibly. So, yeah, we'll just have to be patient on the transfer um, situation. I truly believe we will bring, bring the players in the next week. I was hoping that we'd get one in before Saturday's game, which is not likely at the moment in time. But just be patient, guys, with the owners. Um, everyone's good. Um, yeah, that's all I want to speak about today. A few updates on a few things. Um, if you haven't already done it, can you smash the subscribe button? And also like this video, that'll help me out really nicely. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'll leave it there, people. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one.